This is what movies look like without special effects, like the behind-the-scenes footage of the Avengers, Man of Steel, Pirates of the Caribbean, and so much more. Long before Johnny Depp's live-action courtroom drama, he and Orlando Bloom were busy fighting off zombie sharks on a sinking boat. The only problem is, zombie sharks are a little hard to come by, so the Pirates of the Caribbean VFX team made do with a massive blue screen set, My dog stepped on a, a hydraulic-powered boat, and plenty of imagination. Tom Holland starred in the video game remake Uncharted, whose opening scene is a high-octane fall from a cargo plane without a parachute. You'd think Spider-Man would be okay doing his own aerial stunts, but they've brought in wires, a giant hydraulic arm, and a blue set to help producers pull off the death-defying scenes. You don't even need to use real cars in movies anymore. This iconic scene from X-Men Days of Future Past has Quicksilver rushing in to save his colleagues from an explosion at 2,000 miles per second. To create this faster-than-sound sequence, filmmakers filmed Evan Peters running on a treadmill and blended it with a rotating shot that had been slowed down. Tasty. The result was this slow-mo masterpiece. Yeah, boy. This scene in John Wick 3 just couldn't have been filmed on a real street. Instead, fake motorbikes, green carts, a complex winch system, and a whole bunch of dudes in green morph suits all helped Keanu Reeves fight off his attackers in slow motion. They even had a guy blowing wind on Keanu's hair to make it look like the bike was moving. Speaking of Spider-Man, ever wondered how they make your friendly neighborhood Spidey look so good? It's mostly blue screens. and a whole lot of fighting that only really looks good from a certain angle. Despite all the help, some of Tom's acrobatics are actually quite impressive. This scene from Supergirl looks a little different without the post effects added in. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Superheroes without their powers just look like mimes in fancy leotards. We're not gonna win this today. When the cast returned to Jumanji, the majority of their jungle adventures were way too dangerous to film for real. Plus, where are you going to find a herd of angry ostriches at short notice? The film and effects crew utilized some inventive blue screen sets and high-end CGI to create a visual masterpiece. And now head for the rhombus! Come on, hurry up! Rhombus. One of the biggest movies of all time, Avengers Endgame, was an absolute masterpiece in terms of visual effects and computer-generated backdrops. Not only did teams have to render special abilities and costumes onto hundreds of superheroes, but all this with an apocalyptic wasteland as the backdrop. I have to say, though, I thought Thanos would have been taller. Rather than trying to teach Jason Momoa how to breathe underwater, the team behind Aquaman used some pretty inventive visual effects to bring the DC superhero comic to life. Lighting, wires, and motion capture were all employed to take this above-ground set straight to Atlantis. Superman's Man of Steel makes every kid want to fly, but the secret to this superhero's flight ability all comes down to wires, pulleys, and a team of people pulling the strings. He's not really faster than a speeding bullet, it just looks like it when you speed up the tape. The powers might be fake, but the Man of Steel's Labs are 100% real. You're probably not shocked to find out that the dinosaurs in Jurassic World aren't real. That's right, they're almost completely CGI. Wait, almost? We hate to ruin the mystery behind these fierce velociraptors, but they're actually just guys in gray leotards and raptor helmets. For the most part, Chris Pratt just has to pretend there's a vicious predator standing in front of him. What about the T-Rex? Nope, completely computer generated. In this scene from World War Z, Brad Pitt's character throws a live grenade inside an airplane to save himself from a frenzied zombie herd. Rather than sacrifice 100 extras at 30,000 feet, the special effects team used a prop plane, wind cannons, wires, and a giant green screen set to create the epic scene. In the live-action reboot of the Disney classic Aladdin, it was always going to be a challenge to bring all the magical elements to life. From flying the magic carpet to running through the Cave of Wonders, producers used blue screens, hidden supports, 
and specially designed motion capture suits for Will Smith's genie. <laughs> Oh, that's hot. If you wanted me to describe the plot of Alice in Wonderland, I'd probably say it's two parts fever dream mixed with three parts of whatever the caterpillars got. True to the surreal nature of the novel, the 2010 remake relied on whimsical CGI, green suits, and stilts to create characters of all sizes and perspectives. The logistics of building a massive wall are way beyond most film companies. It's even beyond most presidents. That's the reason why producers working on Maze Runner used incredibly realistic CGI to render these massive maze walls. There's only small constructions used for reference. The rest is a complete fabrication. In Disney's Beauty and the Beast remake, the fearsome prince-turned-monster is a terribly intimidating creature. In reality, it's just a guy in a motion capture suit. I'm not sure if that's padding he's got there, or if the guy only does leg day, but those are some beastly quads. This river rapids scene in The Hobbit had so much going on all at once. There's a raging river, orcs firing arrows and swinging swords, as well as making sure all the dwarves stay in their barrels. Swap out weapons for green pool noodles, add in some well-timed splashes of water, and you've got yourself an authentic indoor river rapid adventure. Behind the silky smooth animation of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, who knew there were actually four ninjas underneath it all wearing motion capture suits and fake shell backpacks made out of foam? Cowabunga! We're still a few years away from the android servants used in the Kingsman Golden Circle, but the special effects team used an actress in a green morph suit to render a fairly convincing CGI droid. The robot stand-in even wore roller skates to give the movement some authenticity for the final shot. Your a movie full of sentient apes is a VFX team's worst nightmare. Even though finding extras that act like monkeys sounds easy enough, adding the computer rendering to a dozen motion capture suits is an exhausting process. But the end result is all worth it. While watching Planet of the Apes, it's hard to tell it's just some guys in gray costumes monkeying around. The Matrix was one of the first movies to really use mind-bending VFX and innovative cinema techniques in a way people hadn't seen before. They coined the bullet time shot to create this bullet dodging scene on the rooftop using green screens, multiple moving cameras, and wires to keep Neo from hitting the ground. When it comes to superheroes, there's one you'd definitely call overpowered. With almost every superpower in the book in her arsenal, making Captain Marvel come to life on the big screen was any VFX animator's dream. If climbing Mount Everest is one of life's hardest achievements, it makes sense that a film crew wouldn't be up at the peak of the world's highest mountain. Instead, teams built base camps under a giant green screen backdrop. Treacherous walks across icy caverns and climbs up rock peaks are all done in the comfort of an air-conditioned set. America's favorite superhero, Captain America. He needed a little help pulling off the superhuman feats on display during Civil War, and help came courtesy of some cool practical and visual effects. When he's not manhandling helicopters, He's leaping two stories into an open window. When you're doing a live-action remake of a story that is only one human character, your VFX team is going to have their work cut out for them. In Disney's 2016 Jungle Book remake, extras in blue morph suits take the place of monkeys, only to be edited in later. Baloo is just Jon Favreau sitting in a pool, what? and Mowgli has to pretend those hand puppets are actually wild animals. Tom Cruise is famous for doing all his own stunts and insisting on cinematography as opposed to CGI where possible. Baba boy. In Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, the trick wasn't adding in computer rendering to make these shots look more impressive. It's about getting the camera in the right places as Tom runs impossible lines on the outside of the wall's tallest skyscraper. Back in the old days of cinema, teams would have to wait until snowfall to shoot classic scenes like this one in Mulan. Now it's all done in post-production. Even the horse is fake. Likewise, any of the scenes involving any of the aerial acrobatics. It's all done at half speed with wires to help the actors jump and spin through the air. To perfectly map the behaviors, movement, and actions of a friendly dog in The Call of the Wild, the VFX team used an actor in a motion tracking suit instead of training an actual dog. Good boy. 
In Disney's Maleficent, Angelina Jolie's portrayal was equal parts amazing and terrifying, but creating her winged flight into battle and aerial acrobatics couldn't have been done without the help of a blue screen set, a complex system of rotating harnesses, and a team of blue-suited technicians. My dog stepped on a bee.